So if I were to tell you that green and blue can be the same in the Korean language, what would you say? <music> 안녕하세요, 선현우입니다. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. I think languages are fascinating and very interesting. Of course, we can't really communicate effectively without languages, so we take languages for granted. But when you especially compare one language right next to another one, there are some really interesting differences. So today is a good example. So we got a question on Twitter about why certain people refer to the green light, the green traffic light as 파란불 when it's clearly not blue. And this is a question that I also had myself when I was a kid and I even asked my parents, some other people, some other adults why that is. And I never really got a satisfying answer, but now I think I know why, sort of know why people um, refer to the green light, the green light, you know. I don't think, yeah, there, there are countries where the traffic light for go is blue, why that is called parambul or can be called parambul in Korean. So to give you the short answer, traditionally, a long time ago in the Korean language, the notion of 푸르다, 푸르다 is the key word. 푸르다 meant anything blue or green, anything that resembled the color of nature. Like, of course, the nature has many colors, you know, can, there can be a million different colors, but when you think about the blue skies, when you think about the green trees, everything is, you know, blue and green, the color of life. Of course, let's not think about other colors of life like the red roses and yellow flowers and things like that but just, just generally when you look at big things like the sky, the ocean, it's blue and the mountains, green mountains. So all those things were referred to as 푸르다 in the Korean language. 푸르다. So you can say 푸른 산, 푸른 산, your conjugating into, conjugating 푸르다 into the adjective form 푸른 산 and that's a green, you know, mountain with lots of green trees <laughs> and 푸른 하늘, using the same exact adjective you can say 푸른 하늘 but in this case it means a blue sky interesting, right? so 푸르다 is a concept that has blue and green in it together. Please wait one second. 잠깐만요. This is Hyunwoo from tomorrow. So I was watching the clip that I filmed yesterday and I just wanted to tell you again that I'm not saying that we use one word for both blue and green all the time. People always, you know, all the time, people differentiate the two words. Blue, 파랗다, 파란 something is blue something and 초록색 something is green something. Um, but we are talking about in this video lesson talking about the rare occasion where people do use 파란불 for the green light and this is a more of a background explanation as to the traditional notion of 푸르다 generally referring to green and blue together. Okay, back to the main video. So some other examples. Oh, this is a good example and I don't think this is only common, only true uh, to the Korean language. There are some other Asian languages where this is true and I'm sure in other languages too there are similar situations, similar phenomena. So please let me know in the comments if you have something similar, something that would be translated weirdly in other languages that you have in your own native tongue. So uh, this came from the Chinese characters, so 청과물, if you go to big supermarkets and stuff like that, you will see 청과, 청과 corner or 청과물 corner. 청과물 means fresh fruits and vegetables. And if you look at that 청, 청, if you translate it just literally, it's blue. 청바지, blue jeans. So yeah, interesting, right? You don't get to see that many blue fruits and blue vegetables. I would be scared to eat too many blue vegetables. Uh, but anyway, 청과 and uh, in Japanese too, when you say, you know, the green light, it's a green light for the project, it's a go, you know. Somebody's approval, your boss's approval, that's 
청신호, 청신호 in Korean and 아오신고 in Japanese. It's the same set of characters. So I think I introduced everything I, I wanted to introduce. Uh, oh, here, one more example before I forget. 푸른 잔디, grass, 잔디. So 푸른 잔디, is it blue grass or green grass? You know, it's of course, in most cases, green grass. So yeah, so 푸르다 is the key term to remember and 푸르다 can be 파라타, blue, 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 or 초록색. And interestingly, 초록 is a Sino-Korean word based on the Chinese language and there is no, as far as I know, no native Korean word for meaning green. Although 파라타 is a native Korean word. Interesting, right? So remember 푸르다 and you will understand this. Uh, better, I think, and that is why uh, my parents and other adults around me used to refer to the green light as 파란불, 파란불이다, 빨리 건너자, 파란불 될 때까지 기다려, stuff like that. Now I do say 초록불 too, but I think I still sometimes say 파란불 as well. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for studying Korean with our materials on our website as well as our textbooks. Please visit TalkToMeInKorean.com if you haven't and also be sure to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications. Only then you will get notifications of our new videos that are uploaded. Okay, thank you so much. I'm Hyunwoo. I will see you next time. 감사합니다.